beautiful students of uh, second year, I mean third semester. This is the third week. You know, what I hate about this is that you cannot see people smile, you know. Imagine, you cannot see each other smile. This is crime against humanity. Anyways, students are not here yet. I mean, those who come to the class, you're gonna start very soon. A different assignment today in continuation of uh, uh, the 90 degrees to the model drawing. We call this one back to the model drawing. Stay tuned. I will explain it when everybody is here. We are going to continue with the analytical drawing and uh, avoiding the copying, so-called copying, uh, or in my opinion, observational passive drawing. You're going to learn more about active creative drawing, drawing that you are more involved in building up. Uh, a new assignment I have for you, as you see it uh, on the board, and it's called Back to the Model Drawing. Simply, uh, you turn away from the model, you know, you turn all the donkeys, donkeys are going to face the wall, and the model is in your back, and you're supposed to draw the pose. You're going to have five minute poses, and. Uh, the same thing, but uh, the difference is that uh, you cannot look at model and draw like that. This is what happens when you so-called copy, or you just just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, this uh, assignment uh, interrupts that. You cannot do that. Uh, if you want to do that, you have to go like that, you know, you have to t t turn your neck and you might uh, hurt your neck. Uh, then uh, uh, I, I, I am suggesting don't do that. Uh, then what you do, uh, you uh, basically you have to uh, look at model without drawing. You know, because uh, you cannot draw like that, right? You, you have to separate uh, between uh, seeing, uh, analyzing, understanding, separate that process, then the process of drawing, putting, putting things on paper, all right? You have to, this, this assignment puts you in that position that you have to separate the uh, process of understanding and analyzing, then drawing or putting it on, on paper. Then uh, number two, maybe uh, when 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 it, you have to do the back to the model drawing, then you look back at the model. Uh, you sort of remember what, what is the pose, what is, the, what, what is there, and you use your memory to do your gesture, and then you have to build up from now on. You cannot just copy, because again, the process of copying is interrupt, interrupted. Then you have to use the procedures of uh, analytical drawing that we talked about uh, in the 90 degree uh, drawing. You have to, to, to these, are, these, are, these are steps in my opinion. Gesture, structure, getting the weight and the position of different parts of the body based on the structure. And then going to organic structure, which is anatomy, bone and muscle. And then 
surface anatomy or uh, going on the surface and using the shading and light. Uh, light is something that we're going to talk about in fourth semester because we need this skill of drawing from imagination for the light. Later you see why, why I'm saying that. But for now, you do whatever lighting that you, you like or based on what we learned in the first semester, a little bit of uh, uh, flat uh, uh, lighting uh, and, and you know just going on the surface. Uh, but the lighting is not the important aspect uh, right now. The thing is that you learn how to do uh, draw analytically and uh, the 90 degree, sorry, the back to the model drawing will force you to do that, right? Is that clear? What's the assignment and what you're going to do? Uh, another aspect of this assignment is a continuation of uh, the 90 degree de degrees to the model. Because in the, in the 90 de degrees to the model, you uh, learn how to see things that you don't usually see. How, how to study the curves and the uh, movement in the body that you might not pay attention. Uh, before, but now, now you're aware of that, and then try to use that that awareness that you got through the 90 degree uh, to the model uh, drawing. Uh, apply it to to the back to the model drawing. In a way, it's easier than 90 degree, uh, but at the same time, it's more advanced. If you want to do a good job, you have to. You have to apply the skills that you're supposed to learn from the 90 degree. But there is a continuation between that. Uh, these are uh, uh, the points that uh, uh, I want to make uh, uh, regarding this assignment. Do you have any suggestion, any point, any question? about this assignment or previous assignment. No? Okay, yeah. We turn around? Yeah, yeah, we are gonna turn around uh, exactly back to the model, even not uh, slightly uh, tangled to the model, back to the model, that's, that's what I want. And I'm gonna do it too. Maybe before that, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the demonstration for you, right? Uh, a quick demonstration. Uh, uh, yeah, please, uh, give us a call. You know, you're, you're completely back to model, right? But you, you're allowed to, to look uh, and, uh, yeah, that's okay. That's an interesting pose and uh, uh, is in a way it's difficult because it's very close to symmetrical but it's not exactly symmetrical, policy. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to analyze. The, the curve in the body is very interesting, the weight is very interesting, right? The, the position of the chest, of the hip, uh, please keep it for five minutes uh, until we do that. Then, then what, I, what, I, uh, what I understand, I mean the first step was uh, analyzing understanding. Then I, I'm trying to build up, you know, uh, it was something like that, the curve of, of the of the uh, hip was like that, sorry, the, the, the spine was like that, and hip was going like that, yeah, the spine going that way, hip going that way, see, I'm, I'm checking to see if I'm, and, and the, the, the one, one of the legs going something like that, right? And the other leg has got a very interesting uh, movement, it's going something like that, right? Yeah, I think I think this is there. Just just uh, maybe the head uh, should be something like that. The, uh, one arm going like that. One arm going like that. Right? This is this is a general understanding of it. And then uh, it's kind of like gesture, right? If I if I want to draw the gesture now, now I'm going to go to to the boxes. You know the. the chest is like that, the hip, 
uh, is more like that, going, going that way, going that way. I think hip is more like that, then going like that. And then the, the leg uh, is going something like that, right? Going something like that. The other hip, the other leg is going something like that, right? And the arm is going to be something like that, right? This is uh, sort of uh, analyzing the, the boxes. Now I can go uh, and, and the bone. The bone structure, you know, I, I think what, what, what we have the uh, uh, rib cage is going to be something like that in this position. You know, the hip, yeah, the hip is going to be more, something more like that. You know, uh, you know, the hip bones going something like that, going something like that. And the belly button is uh, sort of here, and then I, I go uh, for the, you know, the pubic area is going to be there. And then now uh, I, I uh, you know, the, the shoulder, shoulder, shoulder blade is going to be something like that, something like that. And then now, now I, I can go a little bit on the surface. You know, the head is, is uh, more down. I, I got it, you know, it's going to go something like that. You know, here it is something like that. Now I can go for the muscles, you know, the deltoid here, the trapezius here, and then, uh, you know, the, the breast muscle is going to go something like that. And then, uh, yeah, then, then the breast, one breast is here, one breast is here. This is latissimus dorsi, you know, then, you know, and then uh, uh, side of the rib cage, side of rib cage going a little bit more like that. And then it's, uh, it's interesting the, the uh, what's that, this uh, muscle here uh, going like that. And then the hip. The, the, the small bone, you can see it a little bit there, right? And then going, going something like that, something like that. The other side of, of the, the rib cage is going to be something like that, and then going something like that. And then uh, the other shoulder blade is, is somewhere here. You see a little bit of that, and then the the What's that? The breast muscle going all the way there. The deltoid, uh, the deltoid, the deltoid is here, going something like that, and the uh, trapezius again going there, and then uh, the, uh, the the muscles here underneath the arm are like that, and so on. You want me to continue to finish that, or that's enough? Enough. You, you know what I'm doing. Thank you. And uh, again, I, 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 I'm not copying. That's obvious that I'm not copying. What I do, I am using the model as reference for my drawing. Right? Exactly the same thing that we talked about in the 90 degree drawing. That's the same method. You're, you're, you're trying to learn this method, this method of uh, uh, analytical drawing. Here, so far. One thing I want to say, you know, right now I'm, 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 I'm following the procedures as I told you, right? First, uh, you do your gesture, you do your uh, uh, box and uh, cylinder and geometrical uh, structure. You use structure and then bones and then muscles. This is not, a, uh, I always say that this a lot, there's no black and white thing in drawing. These are, these are suggestions. These are the way when you think, when you, when you think what's happening in your head when you draw. But in reality, you could go very fast. You know, you, you could, you could, you could, uh, you could even 
not start not doing let's say the boxes and the the, the structure but you know it you see it in your head uh, then these are these are for the purpose of teaching I'm um, doing this but uh, you might do it very quickly you know just touch just doing some some uh, lines like that but uh, understanding what's happening right the same pose again you know now pushing it a little bit more, you know, and then going something like that, right? And you might, uh, for example, you might start right away from the surface, you know, going from surface, you know. If I start uh, from the surface, that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm not seeing what, what, what I was uh, talking about before, right? It's, it's in my head, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it there, but so even here now, when I'm doing it, uh, so I, I, I realize that I have to I have to do some, uh, you know, some some anatomy to understand what's happening, right? And then going this, going this, you know, uh, and, and this and this. Uh, my, my, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, it's not a black and white thing. With what, what I'm suggesting, it's a method. You have to, you have to learn this method, and you have to adapt it the way that you like it. Sometimes you start from the end of it. Sometimes you start from the beginning of it. It's not, it's not a disaster at all. My point is that every good drawing will have these different components. They're there. It's up to you how how you want to achieve that. It's up to you how, how you want to present that. But you have to go through, through gesture, structure, anatomy, surface anatomy. And by structure, I mean also weight, balance, understanding what's happening. And there are more, of course. There, there is also composition that I don't talk about it more uh, right now a lot. But later in the fourth semester, we talk about composition as well. But the, the thing is that uh, at some point, you have to deal with all these components, all these elements. But don't take it that you have to do this first, and you have to do this second. It's not like that. You, you feel free and do whatever you like. But try to adopt this method of drawing. Clear? Okay, your turn, please. Five minutes. Back to model drawing. Please. Uh, okay, people. Uh, what do you think so far? Any, any suggestion, any observation, anything you want to talk? I personally, I find the parts of the analysis become easier, but um, proportions are harder. You had problem with proportion, that's what you want to say? Yeah, yeah, because now you have to make up the proportion, basically. You know, uh, proportion, uh, I think I told you in the first semester, uh, it's very, very subjective. And everyone has a kind of proportion in their head. And they apply it to the reality. This is very interesting. Of course, uh, you, you can get close to her proportion, but this is what I've uh, noticed uh, during years. Uh, proportion, the concept of proportion and getting the, concept, the proportion, it's very individual, very personal, very, very differs person to person. Uh, for your information, in the uh, first years that I was teaching, I was pushing people to get the exact proportion. Uh, 
myself, I have no problem if I want to get exact proportion of some somebody. I thought everyone is like me. Then I gradually I realized, no, that's not the case. People are different. And you have to respect that. And then I noticed that even the great masters, they have sort of in individual approach to, to, to the proportion. It's a very funny thing. Uh, you know, this, this is my experience. I, I, I'm not sure if it's right or wrong. Someone might prove me wrong. But this is, this is what I've noticed. Then, uh, conclusion is don't worry so much about proportion. Uh, try to get a good proportion. I mean something that works, something that is beautiful. That's important, you have to have that. But getting exact proportion of the model, I, I think, yeah, you, you can try. It's a good exercise, but uh, I, I think it's not the most important thing. Well, but you said also you found it easier than the 90 degrees drawing. Yeah, I think it's easier, uh, but uh, but you you can learn you can ap ap apply a lot of things from 90 degree to this one. Anything else? You're talking about your experience with the uh, this assignment. Yes. No, 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 no. I mean, I also think it's easier because, I mean, like, looking at reference with, like, just looking at a little bit and then doing your own thing is kind of something that I've, at least I've already been doing for a while. Yeah. So, I guess it's just that we're more used to it. Yeah. And the yeah. 90 degree thing is, is very much like you're looking at one thing, but you have to draw something. Yeah, uh, uh, from a different angle than yeah. 90 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, as I said uh, last week, we, we are not going to do 90 degrees for the, the rest of our life. That the purpose of 90 degree was the method of drawing, the analytical method. And right now, in this assignment also, we are using the uh, analytical method, method, just preventing you from copying from the, the old habit. Anything else? Yes. Sorry. Uh, that's what they, but I think that I think it's good, especially like uh, I I thought back on the character. Well, when yeah. we were doing character design, and we had to do the turnaround. Yeah. I think that's that's what is like it's really good to apply. So we yeah. can understand like. Yeah. You, you know, I uh, today you can combine ninety degree and back to the model drawing. Uh, I mean, while, while you're back to the model and you don't look at the model, uh, just say, take the model as your reference, but at the same time you rotate it to 90 degrees. You know what I mean? You can, you can do that. It, it's a good challenge. I know <laughs> you're laughing. You know, I hate this. You, you cannot see each, each other's uh, smile. Anyway, uh, yeah, you can, you can do that. It's, it's good, uh, you know, it's good once, once in a while to do a 90 degree to, to you know, don't forget that you, you, you don't know a lot of things, so. Anything else? No? This hour, we're gonna, I mean, the, the back to the model is optional. If you don't like it or if you're tired of it, you can turn around and draw, uh, face uh, to the model, not back to the model. Uh, but what is, uh, what is necessary is using the method, the, the analytical method that we, we, we were talking about last uh, hour. Again, I remind you, you just analyze the model. Yeah. Uh, do exactly the same thing that as if you're back to the model, if you wanted to, to face the model. Don't rush into just drawing uh, and, and copying. Sit back, analyze it, understand what's happening, you know, study all the curves, all the movement, study the weight, the, the balance, the position of the boxes, 
and then start drawing gesture, structure, bone and uh, muscles, and then sur surface anatomy. Right? Try to follow that procedure. That's important, that method. By the way, uh, please bring your anatomy book every class from now on. You need that. In this method of drawing, you realize that knowing anatomy is so important. You have to know, uh, uh, I mean, you have to improve your knowledge about anatomy and how to apply it and recognize every time in every different, every pose and, and reproduce it in, in this analytical way. Then you have to have a very good knowledge of, uh, about anatomy. Then bring your book every time you have questions, you can consult with your book. Uh, what, what that muscle is going to look like and what, uh, when it's stretched, how, how should I draw it? There are, there are good tips in your anatomy book. Bring that book with you every time. Is that clear? What, what's the task this, this hour? It's optional if you want to turn back. Based on model, you can do that, but nevertheless, do the method that we were uh, talking about last hour. Okay? Then let's keep going. This is, this is, this is what's going to be for your homework as well. Uh, please, uh, in your homework, uh, use this method of drawing that we need. Okay. Five minutes, please.